Hello, in today's video, we will be dealing with Laplace transform of sine a t. So, we want to prove that the Laplace transform of sine a t is equal to a over a squared plus a squared. Okay, so we'll be making use of the, of the tool right there that the Laplace transform of any function of t should be the integral, okay, the semi infinite integral that is from 0 to infinity of e to the negative a t times the function with respect to t. Okay, great. So we just start at once by saying that the Laplace transform of sine a t, okay, should be equal to that we have here integral from zero to infinity, okay, of e to the negative a t. Now f of t right here. So right here we're having an f of t to be sine a t, and that is the t. Okay, great. Now. We have to integrate this, all right, to show that it's actually equal to this. That's the proof. Now, to integrate this, we can do this by part, but that's that, that's going to take a longer steps or longer time. So, what are we going to do is, um, I'm actually going to apply something from the polar form of complex numbers or the Euler form of it. If you're having a complex, um, a complex expression, let's say cosine of theta plus i sine of theta is actually equal to e to the i theta. Okay, so where our angle now is 80, we're going to have cosine, the argument at this point is 80, plus i, that will be e to the i 80. In place of theta, we just put the 80, right? Okay, great. So, seeing this, all we just need right now is what? Sine 80. So, if we consider... The imaginary part okay so you have that the imaginary part of this is actually going to be the imaginary part here so the imaginary part here is just sine 80 so that's what we are going to consider right so we're we'll making use of this part i of e to the i 80 okay so doing that we're just going to have the integral the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative a t times so in place of this right here I'm going to have um, you know that we are having an imaginary right here so we can put it here okay no big deal now we have e to the um, i a t okay remember the t so having done that we can first of all evaluate the integrand and at this point, we're going to have e to the negative of, we have a is minus a i, okay, times t. Great. From 0 to infinity of that with respect to t. So, just adding the numerator, the basis are the same. Adding the powers, the basis are the same. So at this point, we can go ahead and integrate this from 0 to infinity. And at the same time, remember your imaginary part. Okay, so we have the imaginary part of, if we integrate this, we're going to have um, e to the negative of a minus i a t divided by the coefficient of the t. We're going to have negative of a minus i a. Okay, and um, we're going to see that from the point 0 to infinity. So, having that in mind, we're going to have, um, taking this factor that we have negative of a minus i a, okay, great, times, in here, we will have e, to the negative of a is minus i a like that okay from the point zero to infinity like that All right so i can say that the imaginary part of we have one of our negative of a is minus i a. Now, 
at point infinity for t. Where is our t? Our t is actually here. So this is t. So infinity for t, we're going to have all of this infinity. So e raised to the negative infinity, you know, that is actually very large. So that would just like 1 over e to the infinity. That's just 0. In the numerator, so that's just 0 right there. Minus, now at point 0, we're actually going to have t here to be 0. So that would be, everything here will be 0. That would be e raised to the power negative 0. Okay, that's just 1, all right? So we have the 1. Okay, so considering this right here, we can see that the imaginary path of, now we look at that, we have um, negative 1 times negative this, okay? That is actually 1 over A minus I A. Great. Oh, let me use red ink. Great. But we are not done yet. We have to get this I from the denominator. It can be in the numerator, no problem. All right? You don't just like it like that. So to get that, we need to rationalize the denominator by multiplying numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. So if I'm actually going to do that right here, I'm going to have multiplying numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. I'm going to have A plus I A divided by a plus i a okay this is i actually so we're gonna have uh let me clean this right here let me just okay let me clean this we'll be having the imaginary part of now we have um this to be a plus i a divided by now we have here a square okay i times i is negative one so a times a is a square negative and negative positive plus a square great now if you're taking the imaginary part of this okay you can actually see that this i can actually split it so having uh, a is over a square plus a square plus i of a over a square plus a square. Great. So if I'm taking the imaginary part, what will I get? I'm actually going to take this one. The imaginary part of this right here is just this one. So that will become a over a square plus a square okay so this is actually what you get and that's prove it so, so that is what you get by trying to prove that this is this and that is actually true using our Euler form for the polar form of a complex number All right thanks for watching and i would like you to also do for the cosine of 80 okay the laplace transform of cosine 80 you actually know what i will give you is over a square plus a square you can actually prove this, or better still watch our next video and see how we did that. Alright, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel.